Hi, I'm John Elhai, and I'm a professor of psychology here at the University of Toledo. I teach graduate and undergraduate courses in psychology, and also I conduct research. And today I'm here to talk to you about my research lab. My research is in the area of cyber psychology, which is the study of how people interact with computer technology and how computer technology might affect our emotions and behavior. More specifically, my research involves the study of internet addictions, and I'm interested in risk factors for internet addictions like depression, anxiety, and emotion dysregulation, for example. Here's a little bit of information about how we conduct our research. We have PhD students in my lab who work closely with me in studying internet addictions. Often they work on a research manuscript in their first year that we submit together for journal publication. They also often travel with me to scientific conferences to present our research together. Of course, I also mentor them on conducting their PhD thesis. And often we collaborate with internet addictions experts from a variety of parts of the world. We often collect self-report psychological data on smartphone and social media use, as well as mental health symptoms and psychological variables. We recruit undergraduate participants and also community samples for our research. And in some projects, we collect objective data on smartphone and social media use by using data from such features as Apple's screen time feature. We use advanced data analytic techniques to analyze our research questions in my lab. Students don't typically have a lot of advanced training in sophisticated data analyses before working in my lab, but between our department stats courses and the individual training and supervision that they receive from me on multivariate stats, the students become pretty adept at analyzing their data. What I'm looking for in a student applying to our PhD program to work with me in my research lab is a student who's had significant research experience in the past, preferably having worked in multiple research labs or having written an honors thesis or a master's thesis. I'm especially interested in students who have conducted some research in social media use or internet use but even other solid research experience that has some relevance to my research lab in general is also helpful. I'm also interested in students who are interested in gaining quantitative data analysis expertise in my lab and who want to publish their research findings with me. Thanks for watching this introduction to my lab. I hope you found it useful. Please join us.